Pantry's coming along pretty good. This whole shelf is almost cleared out. I had a bunch of stuff over here that we were taking for camping. So today is the 29th and I am going to extend my no buy for a little bit just because we're going to be gone through almost 4th of July and um, we just we won't be eating a lot over the weekend because I took a bunch. So I moved all of the nuts and the chocolate to the freezer. All of this we finished at one point or another this week. Everything, um, which is really great. Not even just this week. And then I combined, I took out some things in big boxes. This shelf really hasn't changed. I think we used one can here. Yeah, I added that ranch because I thought we needed it, but so I guess that's a little cheating, oh well. My candy I cleared out, we're taking that camp beam. I moved my kernels from the other little thing I had to this. This is where my brown sugar will go. Cleared out some candy, Andres took it to work. Um, as soon as this sugar's done, I keep my sugar up there now, so this, this will leave. But this is powdered sugar and then brown sugar. All this is the same. I added that coffee last week. My granola bars, that's all I have left. Granola, gosh, I say that every time. Granola bars. I only have five packs of crackers and a few of the granola bars. Um, we took a bunch of stuff camping with us. So I moved the crackers right over here and moved it. Cereal hasn't changed. We just rearranged the boxes. We have two empty, three full. And then the girl snacks. It's kind of dark, but I mean, there's barely any snacks in there. I took some, a bunch camping. Autumn stuff is never going to change. Her baby food's not going to change. But yeah, it looks good. Over here, cleared out this shelf. This is the same. Cleared out two boxes of pasta. And this is all of the boxed pre-made stuff that we have left, which is super exciting. This whole thing was full. So now it's no longer full. Oh, there we go. I have about half left, which is nice. Nice, nice, nice. And then when I clear out the freezer tomorrow, when we leave for camping, I will show you guys what's left over. I'm really excited. Okay, today is July 9th. Let me show you guys what our no buy is looking like. And I'm going to show you what our fridge looks like because we're pretty bare all the way around. Condiments don't usually change here in the house. Not really. We have a bunch of yogurt. We had bought this um, organic whole milk yogurt and Greek yogurt and stuff. This is the, one of the girls' favorites, but we bought that for Autumn. She's not a huge fan, so we're probably gonna end up giving it to the girls. But yeah, we don't have too, too much in here, especially on the fruits and veggies. We have some carrots, coleslaw, and a cucumber, and a nasty thing full of a few apples. <laughs> and this is okay here. Not too bad. This one down here is a freezer. This one doesn't really change that much either. We keep our ice cream and frozen fruit, so I haven't added to that in a while. This is the girl snack area. They have a couple of Golgurts left, four to be exact. We have a couple of adult beverages in there. <laughs> um, I bought them a pack of cheese with this last haul, but just a couple of apple sauces and Pudding, oh no, Jello. We do have a bunch of pudding. I am never buying pudding in bulk again because they do not go through it as quickly as this is like, let's see, is this even gonna, oh no, it's good to the end of the year, so that's good. Some fruit cups. So it was not a fridge no buy, but I've definitely learned some of the stuff I'm not gonna buy in the fridge. So here in the pantry, um, like cereal really has not changed. I don't, I think this one has gone down a bit. I don't know. We haven't bought cereal in so long. Although I do have a corn check that I was supposed to take camping. Didn't take camping. Um, Andres ended up taking the two buckets of candy that we had. I originally had taken it camping and then we left it in the truck so he took it to work and the employees there scarfed it up. So we have, no, that one's empty. I switched my popcorn to this one. All of the candy in here is gone except some like sweethearts from uh, Valentine's Day and my stash of gum. Still need my brown sugar. Have a few things of the kettle corn popcorn, peanut butter. Have only a few crackers, a few granola, granola, why do I say that? Granola bars. Um, canned goods. Looking pretty chintzy down here. 
And actually, I'm probably going to do creamy cheesy chicken because I don't really have much else at some point this week um, because I do have cream of celery and cream of chicken, so that works. Have one arabiata sauce, one alfredo, no, two alfredos. Some salsa, we're running low on rice, so I do need that. Probably be having some tuna with no crackers for lunch this week. And chicken. A little bit, this is, um, let's see, I think he just has a little bit of this granola left. Yeah, half, half of one bag. That's from Costco, it comes with two bags. I've moved autumn stuff in here from the counter so that we have more room. There's a few of these left. My grandma gave us those after camping. Some popcorn thing of this quick for uh, waffles or pancakes. A little bit of fruit snacks for the girls. Um, we also got that camping. So those two weren't in here last time, but we acquired them after camping. Baby food. And there's like hardly any snacks left. Like none, maybe under 10, which is nice. I moved the top ramen up there. I'm down to one hamburger helper. That hasn't changed. Got rid of some pasta here. This was full of something, not any longer. We also acquired those camping, my grandma bought them. So we're looking good guys, looking good. And some of this will even be done at the end of the week. And then I will show you guys at the end of the week when we are completely done with the no buy what the freezer looks like because I am going to be pulling out just a few things this week for dinners and whatnot. So I will show you guys that later. There's the update.